All right, Thursday evening weather check first day of August and months off to a hot start, right? 93 degrees over at PTI Airport in Greensboro this afternoon. Still really hot outside even after six o'clock. 91 in Greensboro, Winston Salem at 92. Some upper 80s in the foothills, but very warm, very humid as expected. That's been the trend. A couple downpours have tried to pop up in the mountains and foothills. A couple left over in parts of Wilkes, Yadkin and Surrey counties. As we head through the evening, these may try to move off to the south and east a bit closer to the triad. But aside from an isolated downpour, I don't expect many of us to get rain this evening and overnight. We should start off your Friday warm and humid in the 70s with a mix of sun and clouds, mainly dry to start things off. But as the day goes on, that sunshine's really going to help to warm us up. I'm expecting it to be the hottest day of the week. And because of that, uh, heat advisories have been issued for Alamance, Randolph and Montgomery County. So places like Troy, Ashboro and Burlington all have a heat advisory tomorrow for that hottest time frame of the day, about 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. That's when heat index values could reach 100 to maybe even 109 at the hottest. So certainly a day to take care of yourself. Stay cool and stay hydrated. Not only do we have the heat, we also have a low risk for a few strong or severe thunderstorms Friday afternoon and evening. Radar likely going to be pretty busy by the time we get into early Friday afternoon. One or two o'clock, those storms start popping up in the mountains and foothills. And from there, they start marching off to the east through the triad around dinner time, and then things start to wind down by 10 or 11 o'clock. You saw some of those storms look pretty nasty on radar. They could be strong or severe. Our main concern would be for maybe a damaging wind gust or two as those storms roll in. So keep an eye on the radar uh, tomorrow afternoon if you have plans to be out and about. But the first part of the day mainly dry. We're just heating up low 90s expected tomorrow afternoon with a nice warm breeze as well. The foothills that storm window opens up a little bit sooner, likely early afternoon. Things should start to pop up and for the mountains low 80s for highs with that storm chance arriving first beginning right around lunchtime and over the next few days we'll have some increasing chances for showers and storms 50% tomorrow 60% on Saturday scattered storms likely area wide during the afternoon on Saturday and from there the second half of the weekend and early next week rain chances look to trend down a little bit. So some good news there. We look mainly dry heading into early next week. Update on the tropics that tropical wave still producing a bunch of showers and thunderstorms near the Dominican Republic. It's been tagged invest 97 L just a fancy name for something we're watching out in the tropics uh, over the next couple days. It has a high chance of developing into a tropical depression or tropical storm. It looks like it's headed into the eastern Gulf of Mexico near Florida, but after that there's still a wide range of possibilities of where it could go from there. So it's still something the Carolinas need to pay attention to. Be aware scattered showers and thunderstorms possible the next couple days, mainly dry by early next week.